All right, so I already started to do some repairs around here and I started from uh, the first floor. So uh, the first floor is quite done at the moment. I just built in a stud wall, uh, insulation inside for sound. This one right here is something from Knauf, uh, 50 mil, and I doubled it. So we have 100 mil inside. And yeah, pretty much this one is done. Uh, even the other room, and I have to say I'm quite tired. Now here, I'm about 100 miles away, uh, and to go back home is going to take me about two and a half hours to three hours. So I'm not doing that, I'm just sleeping around here in all this mess without any heating or hot water. I have a shower, an electric shower, so that is working fine. And this is my room. I just made a small space for me. And I bring my materials, a few things, my heater, because it's getting quite cold. Now, uh, I don't know when I'm going to put up this video, but uh, it's, I believe, uh, it's February and it's still cold. And yeah, I have my materas here that I bring, got it from a friend, but it had a hole, which I repaired right now. It was right there. And every night I had to wake up like two, three times a night to fill it up with air again, because it was going down. So I'm extremely tired on this job. I think it's, uh, it's too much. So, all right, enough of, with that. This is uh, the second room and uh, I try to fill the gaps here and there with some sand and cement where it was too small. I, I put some foam in it uh, just for the sound not to travel. Uh, I believe uh, everything is going to be taken off, so even this side and is going to be entirely plasterboard, so we are going to have another piece of plasterboard on that uh, one. Or maybe they are just going to put some hard hollow bonding. Anyway, let's go downstairs. So here at the moment, I'm uh, still working. I have some timber here. I'm doing the studs with 100 uh, mil uh, four by twos. Uh, I don't want to be bigger than the actual brick. And these are a little bit smaller than the brick. Uh, I also had to double this one so inside here where i put the uh, the floor upstairs uh, i just made the frame all around because all the weight is going to take it this joist right here and that joist right there so i doubled it and put them together because that joist it never uh, was inside the wall so it was staying loose and that was for about a hundred years. It just stayed like that in the air, supporting the floor upstairs. And this one, the same, is not touching with the other joist. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all loose. And now this is going to transfer the weight on the other joist and everything is going to be taken by this frame that I, I'm building, it's going to help a little bit because it's still standing by its own. But I'm going to reinforce it. Uh, so my frame, I'm going to reinforce it in such a way that it can take even more weight. And I'm going to show you how am I going to do that in just one second. All right, guys, so I'm just going to install this piece of timber exactly underneath up there and um, that uh, this is an 195 mil timber 
I'm going to put two of them up there and it's going to be enough to take the weight from upstairs which is almost nothing uh, because it's just a stud wall at the top as you saw uh, before and uh, yeah let's just install it And that was one and we need another one. So right, that wasn't that hard. I will just need another uh, button plate uh, underneath it and then I can put my stud wall in. Okay, so let's do some cutting. And now it's ready for the studs.
So right guys, uh, everything done at the moment, or at least from my behalf, onto this project. Uh, you can see, ceiling done, all the structure done, and I've done even the making good on the sides. I just put some sand and cement. Uh, all this is, is going to be, uh, be taken out because it's falling and it's going to be filled with a uh, hard wall or bonding or sand and cement, whatever the client is going to decide on. And uh, yeah, this one is done. Let's just walk a little bit around. And yeah, this was done also, filled. I poured a little bit of uh, sand and cement on there because I had a few holes where the brick were before. And uh, yeah. Let's go quickly upstairs. And uh, yeah, this is one of the rooms. New floor down, ceiling, wall, everything filled. And of course, this other room, which also is done. Now I have been taken out everything from this small room. This was the, the room where I was sleeping. This entire project, uh, it was done uh, by myself. I most of the time worked by myself. I just had a few guys uh, helping me for one day. Then I had to sleep here uh, for about two weeks and I've been alone into this house for uh, all this time that I have taken to finish this project. Okay, I just need to show you one more thing outside. Everything was uh, filled with the tiles. I had to do the, some, uh, some structure even for the, for the, for the roof. And that was done. I had to put some ridges on and tiles. I had a little bit of problems with the tiles because these tiles are a little bit particular and I couldn't find the exact measurement. And originally the tiles are red, but because of the weathering now is black. So I had to find something that is going to go quite similar with what we have at the moment. And I found some gray tiles and brown ridges and they don't look that bad. So those up there are the ridges and the first row are the grey tiles and I just have taken the grey tiles, uh, the old tiles from uh, our first row and I put them on the top so we cannot see uh, any difference in between uh, the, the tiles, the old and the new tiles. Let's go a little bit. Uh, Closer. And you can see here the difference in the tiles. These were red before, but now, yeah. And those are the brown ridges. Now the weather is starting to be very, very bad. It's good that I finished the project. And, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this clip, don't forget to squeeze that like button and see you on the next one.